Johnny Mao is a candidate for the Democratic gubernatorial nomination in New Jersey. Many believe he's the front runner. Former U.S. Ambassador to Germany, Phil Murphy. Ambassador Murphy, welcome to the show, sir. Nice to be here, Chuck. Thanks for having me. It seems to me that there is just one issue that you have to deal with, whether it's the primary, whether it's the general, um, and it's, it's unique to our times, and it's, uh, it's not unique to our times, but it is uh, more pressure in New Jersey, and that is your ties to Goldman Sachs. So let's start there. It's obviously, it's what your primary opponent, uh, Mr. Wisniewski, brings up quite a bit. Chris Christie brings it up quite, quite a bit. <laughs> Why shouldn't, I mean, if you think about it, it was a political problem to give a speech to Goldman Sachs for Hillary Clinton. Um, why shouldn't Democrats be nervous about the idea of a former Goldman Sachs exec being the nominee for governor in New Jersey? Well, he here's what I would say, Chuck, and that is this. Uh, my life, I'm almost 60 years old. My life is a book filled with many chapters, and one of them clearly is I worked at Goldman Sachs without question. And by the way, New Jersey is a state with a busted economy, and I think some of the skills in terms of how you create jobs, how you deal with rating agencies are actually quite relevant. But I would also ask folks to judge me on all the chapters in my book. I grew up in a household with a dad who didn't get out of high school, a mom who did. She made sure we got educated. He made mm -hmm. sure we cared about politics in the community, working poor, public school product, put myself through college, uh, lots of different experiences. U United mm -hmm. States ambassador representing President Obama in the Federal Republic of Germany. I think there are a lot of chapters that are relevant for what ails us right now in New Jersey. Um, do you think this criticism, though, is, uh, and do you think that there is a strain of a Goldman Sachs uh, experience that actually is um, makes you out of touch to understand what's going on in middle America? No. In my case, I can't speak for any, everybody who's uh, been affiliated with Goldman Sachs or other Wall Street firms, but uh, I'm proud of the fact that uh, the struggles in New Jersey of the middle class, of the working poor, which is where I grew up, uh, those are not abstract. I didn't have to read them in a book. I lived them. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I, they burn deep in my soul. What... Um the other issue for you, though, is that the last Democratic governor of New Jersey was not just any Goldman Sachs exec, a former head of Goldman Sachs and John Corzine, uh, and that didn't go so well. That is not seen as positive. Take the scandal part of it aside. Um, what went wrong for him uh, on the governing basis? What mistakes will you learn from his experience being governor? I mean, I'll leave John's uh, stewardship of the state to the historians. I, again, I'd ask folks to judge me uh, straight up on an absolute basis. Someone said to me not long ago, uh, hey, you, you both worked at Goldman Sachs. I said, hey, uh, A-Rod and Jeter were both Yankees. I mean, I'm running against five lawyers. Uh, there are state representatives that are running. I think the biggest failure, Chuck, uh, in leadership in this state is Governor Chris Christie. Uh, this is a state with a broken economy. It doesn't grow. It's not fair. Some of that's long, long dated and, and precedes him. A lot of it is under his watch. Mm -hmm. That, to me, is the big failure your leadership right now in the state? I, I would take it a step further, and let's be frank here, there, there's many people in New Jersey that would say there hasn't been a, a successful governor in their lifetime. Uh, anybody, uh, anybody that's 50 years, say, 40 to 50 years old, they, would, they might be able to make the case. And there's certainly, the last three Democratic governors of this state um, didn't, sort of got kicked to the curb one way or the other. One had to resign. Uh, one was kicked out of uh, office. Well, two were kicked out of office uh, by the voters. And, and there wasn't a good experience. What can you do? What, what do you learn? You don't want to talk about John Corzine's experience, but what do you learn from all of these experiences of, uh, frankly, failed uh, stints as governor as far as the New Jersey voter is concerned? Listen, we're a state that's been failed by special interest politics. There's a bubble in the state capital of Trenton. Uh, everybody inside that bubble seems to be doing just fine and it's at the expense of everybody else. We need real leadership, break the glass, reimagining the state, leadership that understands how you grow the economy, how you make the economy and society fair again, how you get back to standing for the, for the, for the right things again. You know, we're a state that's a blue state that's defunded, defunded uh, Planned Parenthood that won't sign sensible gun safety laws. So this is a question of leadership, standing up, as I say, breaking the glass and saying, you know what, enough already. We're going in a different direction. Uh, what does that direction mean in the Democratic Party? It seems as if both you and your chief primary opponent uh, want to lay claim to the Bernie Sanders platform, less so than the Hillary Clinton platform. Why is that? 
Well, I think I, I would say, speaking for myself, I, I would uh, I'm a proud big tent uh, Democrat. Um, I would I, I, I like both of the candidates. I supported Secretary Clinton, but I'm a big fan as well of Senator Sanders. And I think I, I disavow this argument. You've got to be one or the other. I think there's a lot of common ground. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm honored to represent and, and, and fight for a lot of the things that both of those candidates fought for. We don't have that civil war in our party in New Jersey. Our big issue is with the other side of the aisle with failed leadership under this governor. So, you know, but what does that mean, per se? I mean, when you say there's no civil war, uh, at the end of the day, why do you think so many Democratic primary voters that Bernie Sanders resonates more now with them than, say, Hillary Clinton? Well, again, in New Jersey, uh, the, the, the unifying principles are around a governor who's got an 18 uh, percent uh, popularity and a president who is bringing people out of the woodwork like never before. Maybe that's happening all over the country, but mm -hmm. we're seeing it in New, New Jersey uh, at, at levels that are unprecedented. So I say that because while there may be differences between one strain or another within our party, uh, the, the differences on the one hand between what we might be de debating versus what Chris Christie and Donald Trump stand for, that's as wide as a canyon. That's the big divide in our state. All right, Phil Murphy, I'm gonna leave it there. Democratic candidate for governor of New Jersey primary ever so close. Be safe on the trail, sir. Thank Thanks you, sir, on. very much. You got it. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.